Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So the number one way to be successful in love. I'm going to give that to you today. Okay, so you stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming on back. So if this is your very first time here, let me just tell you about my three online courses that I have here at I Love Me Me Me. I supply everybody with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. My three online courses that I have definitely deals with the relationships, not only with the relationship with yourself. I also have the relationship when you're in the dating stages and then finally in the long term or marriage relationship. The very first course is for my super single people. These are the people that are in the let me just be by myself stage. Let me figure out what's going on stage. Or maybe you are in the dating stage, but you kind of still don't know who you are, or even in a long-term relationship or marriage, but you still really don't know who you are. You are going with the flow of things. This course is going to help you get on track of who you are, what you want, what you need, what you desire, especially if you're in the dating stages. I mean, you know, do you need to walk away from that person? Are there some red flags that now you see that you didn't see before, before you actually start taking the online course? This course is going to help you get set up so you can be um, just aware of all of the things that can happen. So you can decrease your chances of having a divorce. The second course is for everybody in the dating stages. You are in the dating stages, but you kind of need some help as far as what questions to ask, how to navigate through it, just to get rid of the, the, the guys that is pretty much giving you the BS. You can notice the BS early on, so you're not wasting a lot of time. It is definitely going to help you keep your tunnel vision to be able to block, block, block <laughs> all of the men out of your way so you can get closer to your man okay and then the third one is for anybody that is in a long-term relationship or who is married married who needs to add some spice to their relationship or maybe you just didn't really get the full idea of who you are before you got married to this person this is going to help you through. It's also going to help you to spice up your relationship. Absolutely, all of us could use some spice, right? And just to give you some ideas on how to break up your routine. All right. So definitely go ahead and check out the perspective course down in the description box below. Click on that link, purchase the course, and you'll definitely be helping yourself as well as your relationship out. And you will totally notice a big difference. So now the number one way to be successful in your relationship, I will give that to you at the end. I have six tips for you. The very first one is to Pay homage to the small things that are absolutely happening around you and in your relationship, especially if your spouse has done any of these small things. I always like to talk about the coffee because a lot of people out there are coffee drinkers. They, uh, they made coffee. They actually brought you a cup because they know that you enjoy it. And this is all without you having to ask them to do it. Or you notice uh, your partner notices that you need gas in your car, they'll go fill up your tank or that your car needs to be washed. They'll wash your car. All of these things are without them having to ask you. Or maybe they'll be like, you know what, baby, you've been with the kids. I know that you need a break. Go and do you today. And absolutely, it's on me. It's on me. So just take the credit card or take the debit card, whatever it is. It's on me today. Go and relax. So it's just the little things that you have to pay attention to. The second thing to be successful in love your relationship is to ask a million and one questions even after you get into the relationship because we are constantly evolving as people and we are constantly um um wanting and being a part of different groups and just different things in our mind uh, i'm sorry in our life and then we're thinking about doing different goals and achieving different things and sometimes these things kind of stay up there because you're not speaking about them. You're not, you don't have a plan to reach them and speaking these things out loud to your spouse, to your partner can absolutely help you get to the next step and, and, and eventually reaching your goal. So you have to discuss these things with your partner. So ask a million and one questions. It doesn't have to always be a goal. It could just be 
things that you just don't know about your partner. Like there might be some things like their favorite color or why they actually like that color or why they hate the rain, why they hate thunder thunderstorms. There, there'll be something new that you'll find out about your partner. Um, my, my, my husband, I found out, um, recently actually he's, he's told me that he told me this uh more than one time but i really just don't remember him sharing this with me but in, in any event it's new to me <laughs> that uh he don't like snakes at all we had, we just went to the zoo and um we went into the enclosure where they have like the reptiles and everything and so they had a whole bunch of different snakes from all over uh the world and he was just like mm-mm snakes are not for me he was like just being in here i'm actually a little bit scared i'm glad they're in their cages and of course i'm glad they're in the cages too right but um i don't have a fear per se where like i seen garden snakes now i know that that's not the exact same thing but he maybe he might even freak out if you see a garden snake me I, I wouldn't freak out per se but now we've seen some anacondas in there and some vipers and all of these uh rattlesnakes and all this stuff and i was just like Ugh. but um <laughs> anyway my point is, continue to ask a million and one questions because you're continuously going to find out new things about your partner, about your spouse. And this is throughout your relationship. The third way to be successful in love in your relationship is just to be open and honest, especially during the times when you feel that you're trying to hold back because you're trying to be politically correct or you don't want to hurt your partner's feelings. I'm not saying to just say what you want to say because really it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But what I am saying is you still want to be open and honest about what you what you are feeling and, and what you think about a certain thing or why you don't lurk, like a certain thing or why you don't even think that it's possible for them to do X, Y, and Z. That doesn't mean that you, the person listening to this, have to take it, everything that they're saying and internalize it and, you know, now nah, I can't do it or I shouldn't do it. That doesn't mean that, but they should, meaning your partner, they, they should be able to at least express these things to you in an open and honest fashion without you taking everything to heart or it never support me or you know whatever it is that you you're, that you're thinking everything that i already mentioned goes into number five which is communication you absolutely have to communicate with your spouse about any and everything that comes up in your head if you forget a lot write it down so you won't forget and then you can share it with them later on but yes all of those things are wrapped up into communication because really communication is key and these are some of the things that you can do in order to stay continue continuously communicating with your spouse with your partner so communicate more number five is to have sex and have it in a variety of ways and a variety of destinations because some couples i have to say some couples they are actually in sexless marriages and um it's not necessarily a deal breaker per se you know for some people it's not a deal breaker but i do know that most people want to have sex now obviously the older that you get the more mature that you get in just life and aging and all that stuff the sex life is going to dissipate but that doesn't mean that it's absolutely going to go away all together it might be further and further um months or whatever be before you guys connect again meaning sexually but you need to keep up the spice now while you're able to <laughs> keep up the spice now while you're able to while you're able to have sex in a variety of ways in a variety of rooms areas whatever you want to put out there maybe you're going to go old school or maybe like a teenager and get back in the car i don't know i'm not necessarily saying do it but <laughs> spice it up in the bedroom okay now, the number one way to be successful at love in your relationship is to work on you and yourself first. Yeah, I know that that's not an answer that you were thinking. But if you don't work on yourself first before you get into a relationship, also throughout your relationship, then you will always be the finger pointer. What does that mean? You you will always be the finger pointer to say, my relationship is not working out because my spouse is not doing X, Y, and Z. When that's just not the case most of the time. Your relationship is not working out because of you. And most of us don't like to self-evaluate and take a look in the mirror at ourselves to say, dang, you know what? 
maybe I could be doing X, Y, and Z better. Or maybe if I started working on myself, then I actually start to realize that I need to focus more on the positive about my spouse and about my relationship versus the negative. And guess what? A whole new type of relationship will open up to me. That doesn't mean that you're leaving the person. I'm talking about there's a new relationship within your relationship that you currently have. There is a better way to be able to experience more things, happier things in your relationship. And for you guys to keep the connection open and keep the intimacy going. So work on yourself throughout the relationship of course before the relationship but throughout the relationship because there are going to be things that your partner does that drive you crazy but you, if you already have a reservoir of um, positivity over here this one doesn't really weigh as much and you can get over it a lot faster so what did you think? Let me know. I mean, are you surprised at what the number one way to be successful in love is? Because I actually was when I read it. But I will say that it makes complete sense. I definitely want to know what you have to say down in the comment section below. Of course, give me thumbs up if you like this video. And if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, definitely think about subscribing because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So we collectively can decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.